One month ago, this is where it all began. So Lyndon is truly the father of our nation. He went off to school, came back to the Bahamas, and instead of going that route about money, he decided to go the route of politics. So Lyndon beat H.M. Taylor at the PLP convention and became chairman of the party. And bearing in mind what was taking place in the United States of America, the civil rights movement with Martin Luther King and how we were paralleling it. And once he got on that independence bandwagon now, there was no stopping. So Lyndon had a, had a tremendous love for his country. He never forgot the common man. One of the greatest national leaders that I have ever been exposed to. His life did not really become truly complicated until the 80s. On special segment tonight, the continuing connection between the Bahamas and drug money, big drug money. The 1984 Commission of Inquiry was triggered by a newscast that appeared on American television. The Commission report, which runs more than 500 pages, is an investigation of allegations first reported on NBC News that drug payoffs reached as high as the Bahamian Prime Minister, Lyndon Finlay. The only thing Sir Lyndon could do, or the logical thing he could do, was to call a Commission of Inquiry. Once you're indicted, the crime is being indicted. We were being blamed for America's appetite for drugs. Yes, there were Bahamians who were involved in the drugs. It was bound to, it was bound to happen. That was the lowest point in the history of our country. The Reagan administration was waging a covert war against the left-wing Sandinista government in Nicaragua. The American government was formally interested in what was going on. The United States government was interested in the government being, being changed. The CIA knew that a number of cultural leaders were funding their new war effort with drugs. They were an abominable ally. I say I have no hesitation on saying that at the time because I happen to be the Attorney General of the Bahamas and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Bahamas. I can say that and nobody can contradict that. And if Bahamians aren't prepared to stand up and fight and defend their own Bahamas, then you don't deserve to have it. But I want to make it clear, the CIA was not running drugs itself to try to finance this war. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs>